for this video what we have is the school of llama all of the quests from path one through path three and if you complete those um you will receive the school of the viper in-game cosmetic emoticon and plenty of other rewards i will go over all of the quests so the way you know what to do this is an updated look um i don't know why it shows that um Long story short, this was the new area, okay? Um, a lot of people were speculating like, oh, this will be the new map, or yada, yada, yada. I really do not think that's the case at all. Anyways, if you don't know where to sign up, you go to schooloflama.fortnite.com, okay? Schooloflama.fortnite.com. So, here's the entirety of the map, alright? Now, there are, one. it starts one... So there's four paths so this is the first path that leads up this way and um, this smoked out area is path four that won't open up I'll show you guys here but this is the entirety of the map I don't know some people think that maybe this is a hint at some of the new POIs maybe this area here you're able to zoom in on this website so you just basically link in and you're good to go with your challenges and there's tons of free rewards the main reward being which um is the sword so um there's all different type of obstacles in your way as you know as you go through and i've made guides on you know how to complete those creative maps um they're, they're very easy some of them are kind of time consuming but not really um, if you're just going to play, be playing the game anyways, you might as well be linked in so you can get the free rewards. So, let's go ahead and go on the path, um, one, just to start out. That will get you the, um, well first let's look at the rewards to see if you guys even think that it's, you know, worth it to even get involved. So, the Witcher Silver Sword in-game cosmetic pickaxe is a special sword that not too many people are going to probably end up getting because... Um, they're just not going to sign up or it wasn't promoted enough so you'll kind of be you know a little bit unique with that it's better than the original sword in my opinion there's also a lot of XP and then there's like the Axie um, creator made island the Quinn creator made island those are going to be little obstacles like a, a tree log in your pathway um, up here like if you see some of these that are broken um, there was like a stone, there was a, a log, and it couldn't let you through it to the next path. That will happen on each path. Path 1 goes up, path 2 goes to the right, path 3 is to the left, which is this area, and path 4 goes down into this area, which I'm curious, is almost like a, a wasteland type vibes. Uh, I'm curious to see what's down there. Um, so, you know, I'm sure like if you put up Twitter and went through all of that, you can probably find out early, but if you want to do it, the, you know, do it on your own. This looks very weird with the opening in this mountain. We'll see that on the next path. Anyways, um, when you come into an obstacle, uh, when you run into an obstacle, you'll have to do a creative made island. So where you click, um, normally would click like solo duo squads. You just go up from there and it will have all of the creative made islands available for you. So you can um, easily, um, you know, find them and complete complete them like the thing is that's weird to me is they are repetitive so some of them you have to do more than once like so maybe like you did it already in path one but then you still have to do it in path two plus another one um so the the one that was the most recent is called it has two different names one name is the ship and one name is the um Igna or something like that. We'll see, but let's just go through these rewards. So for path one, you um, you get twenty thousand XP there. Then you get a banner, another banner. Um, then you get you know if you complete all path one tasks, you receive that. Then it moving on now. A lobby track music. If you're a streamer, okay, um, like me, this um, is copyrighted. Okay, so. That's the main reward for completing path two, which is the path to the right, like I showed you. So it's up to you if you want to go for it or not. I didn't know it was copyrighted until after I had already done it, so it is what it is. 
There's a lot of XP within here. Um, you know, more complete all the you know tasks for Path Two. You get this um, Griffin Bird, whatever you know. Um, eighty thousand XP, which is basically like a level up token, pretty much. It's a whole level, twenty thousand. So a lot of this is XP banners and these emoticons. So I just finished up completing all of Path Three, and um, I'll show you every single quest. That's School of the Viper in-game cosmetic emoticon, and then um, and then when we start Path Four, um, you'll get eighty thousand XP, then twenty thousand XP. Then this um, banner, then you'll get the bear, uh, which is actually probably the coolest one to me of all of them. And then School of the Wolf Spray and School of the Man to Core Emoticon. Um, if you earn each main reward in each pass, so that's the biggest reward. And then School of the Llama in game cosmetic emoticon. If you complete all five, let me go back over there to show you how to get that because some people might want to get that complete all five of the creator made islands so as you do the school of the llama you're gonna have to do the creative you know each um the things that are in your path so how it works your journey begins starts at the center of the map each week a new path will become available um you know and then you know uh if there's something in your way like this you will have to in order to get it out of your way, you have to do the creator made island that it shows. So you would just like click on it and it would say, not this, but it would say like, uh, do this creator made island. And you just go to where, like I said, where you normally would go solo duo squads or whatever, Team Rumble, and you go into that area, just go up one. And there's a list of all the creator made islands that you have to do. So path one, task overview, um, kept catch 30 fish, eliminate 20 opponents. Um, this one, it actually gets easier as the paths go, is from what I've noticed, like, at least in my opinion. So catch 30 fish, um, then eliminate 20 opponents, place top 25 four times, place top three, um, place top 10 three times, deal 10,000 damage to opponents, survive 30, 30 storm cycles. So yeah, it definitely gets way easier. Um, it's just that they, the sword is like the main thing, so a lot of people aren't going to do the whole set of challenges. They're just going to do like path one and probably maybe maybe the music pack if they're not a streamer. Um, like, and that's probably about it. They probably won't finish it all. Um, so if you're into rare sprays or whatever like that, you'll get rare things um, if you actually do this. But anyways, you see them up here on the screen, 10,000 survive 30 storm cycles. Um, which wasn't that just literally up here? Oh no, catch 30 fish. Survive 30, 30 storm circles, eliminate 30 opponents. Um, eliminations on opponents and deal damage 10,000. Yeah, those are pretty easy. You see them, it's all self explanatory. Drive 10,000 units of distance to earn XP. So that's just driving distance in the fastest is probably a dirt bike, but if you want to use a you know, a truck or whatever you want to use, use what you want to use. Um, on path two, um, this will be tons of the rewards like I showed you, including that lobby music pack. Um, so deal 10,000 damage, uh, survive 30, 30 storm cycles, uh, place top 12 four times, catch 30 fish, place top five three times, place top 10, 10 times. Actually, this one's kind of hard. Well, it's time consuming. Deal damage to opponents 3,000, so that's that's pretty low. Drive 10,000 more distance of units. So, luckily on path three, you don't have to drive anywhere. Like you don't have to mindlessly just drive all over for no reason. Um, so then you can spend uh, for task uh, three, which is um, path four is not available, but for path three, um, which is the reward I showed you at the start of the video, you spend 1,000. Um, bars, uh, which is so easy now that the, the vaults are in the game. Um, and there's also a video on my channel about the most wanted challenges. They are live now, and I pinned the comment in that video, um, to the website that you can go to link up for more rewards. You get four rewards in to total, um, with the most wanted, uh, GG, um, emoticon, uh, are always the best to me. And you get that for just for signing up. There's a weapon wrap for cracking 10 safes. And then you can do a whole leaderboard type deal if you want to. But really don't have to. Anyways. Um, 
I mean, who wants to sit and try to open the most safes in the world, like, and get no reward for it? It's kind of stupid to me. But, you know, maybe doing these challenges, there's still be somebody else. So, hey, I can't judge. Um, place top 25 uh, five times. So, that was easy, you know. Um, survive only five storm circles. Survive five storm circles. So, I mean, it's like there twice. Place top 10 three times. Catch tw only 20 fish instead of 30. So, it get like, path three is easier for some reason. Deal 10,000 damage is to the same. Eliminate only 10 opponents, so it's less opponents, and then replace top 10 two times is the final thing. Um, and then you have to wait so six more days until path 4 if you want to finalize and get everything maxed out. I wanted to show you all of path overview from, you know, and let you know the tasks. Because you're not going to be able to see them all like this. Like, you can't see all of them open at the same time. You can only get, like, two open, maybe three at a time, and then you run into, like, a rock. Um, a rock or a tree, uh, and you you can't get through that law like until you do the creator. You can't see the next challenge, so you kind of um in between matches. My best strategy is to kind of wait until it updates. That way that you have all of the challenges available and ready to you for each new match. So you're getting more than one thing done at a time because you know. But why not make it easier uh, if you can't? But yeah, so um, that's everything um, down to you know the rewards, to the map, um, to uh, you know that's a full, just a a full overview the the you know the map that you're unlocking. So I'm kind of curious about you know see what's going on down here in six days. Um, I'm not, I don't really care about the rewards, I'm already over level 1000, um, so it's not like, um, I can use any of the XP, like, I'm just getting random things that I really don't want, I just wanted the sword, but, you know, I like doing challenges, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just complete this for the sake of wanting to complete it. So yeah, um, that'll be it for this video, this is a tutorial of a full guide, um, for path 1, 2, and 3. And then path 4, um, I'll just make like a solo guide on path 4 by itself with the final reveal of the map. Um, because I don't want to make another uh, 13 minute long video. Alright, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and got some information. Um, sign up, school of llama, uh, school of llama And also make sure you sign up for the uh, most wanted challenges to get those free rewards. I mean, if you're going to play the game anyways, you might as well get the free rewards. Uh, talk to you guys later. Brumble out. Peace.